All right, guys, Smith City here for Smith City Product Reviews. This will be one of my last reviews of this whole holiday. The lovely Pam from Long Swamp Studios, Pam and Bruce, um, said on the way back to stop off at, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's pronounced Yu Yong. Could be wrong, Yu Yong. Long Track Pantry. Um... There wasn't a bloke in sight working there. It's all run by women, what it looked like. So that's fantastic. Absolutely love that. And uh, there was a wine cellar right next door. And like I'm like, oh, don't go in there, Mick. You'll spend like three, $400. So I got out of there as quickly as possible. But I did buy a hamper. So I do, do the review as a whole. Um, do the coffee first. I got a munchy wrap, which is just um, poached chicken, mayo, a few other bits and pieces that I can't remember, but I'll be able to tell you as I'm eating it. So here we go. Oh, yeah. That's a really, really good coffee. Good recommendation, Pam. That's good. That's good. I was going to say great. And grew came out. So, here's the money shot. If I can get it without it going all over my car. This is the munchy wrap. Oh. It's a bit cute. You've got some lettuce there on the side. And there it is. This is fantastic. This is really... Like, really, really well-constructed snack on the go because I don't think this is going to go to... going to go everywhere. And um, it's nicely tightly wrapped at the bottom there. So, um, this is the poached egg, uh, poached chicken. Looks like there's egg in there. I don't know. There's cheese. Going in my pelican-like mouth. I'm tired. I'm just tripping all over my words so this is the long track pantry munchy wrap going into my pelican light mouth mm. yeah Got some sort of spice on there. I don't know if it's like a sauce or a chutney or whatever. But that's dynamite. That's really good. Mmm. Oh. The wrap is really well toasted. Um, it's a bit buttery. It's weird, the, the, the wrap. It's almost got like a... It's almost got like a roti feel or taste to it. Hmm. I can't remember if I just if I've already given a rating for the coffee. I don't think I did. I swear my head's at at the moment, just driving mindlessly in a straight line for forever, <laughs> and I've still got forever to go. Um, I'm gonna rate that coffee. One more sip. For my preference. Um. It's a tad, tad bit milky, tad bit milky. Um, this is not a, this is not a negative or, you know, do better type discussion. This is just personal preference and what I like and what someone else likes. 
are two different things and every every review on this channel or in life whether you look at reviews of restaurants and stuff um, on Google reviews and stuff is it's just one person's opinion it literally means nothing in the grand scheme of things but too many people too many people will look at those reviews and take them as like the absolute truth and I feel like a lot of negative reviews that people let leave on things either they're assholes or they've just had a bad day and like one little minute thing that happened at that particular place compounds someone's experience and then all of a sudden they leave a bad review so a tad bit milky um it, it does still have a really nice um coffee blend to it which is nice i'd probably give it an 8.5 the wrap is let's have some of the lettuce Lettuce, eat lettuce. A bit of pepperiness on here. Mmm, that's good. One more bite of this wrap, and I'll work out what I'm going to give it. In this instance, if I bought this on the go and was driving, the fact that that stays nicely together and sort of the poached chicken sort of mushed up a bit as opposed to it just being like a big slab of poached chicken in there, where it'd probably make the wrap a lot fatter, but also a lot harder to eat. And I think texturally with everything else that goes in there, I, I like the fact that it's a bit sort of more... Um, mixed together if that makes sense so i'm probably going to give it a solid solid nine um and whilst we're here i got 12 of the best hamper i won't pull everything out because it'll be a nightmare to put all back in and i can never put things back in the way they the way they go and then they never fit back in and then i've probably got condiments and stuff flying all over my car on the way back to melbourne but 12 of the best hamper, long track dressing, tomato relish, spicy barbecue sauce, red pepper and chilli jam, red onion relish, beetroot relish, white peach and raspberry jam, tomato chutney, blood orange and gin marmalade, mixed berry jam, pear and ginger chutney, that sounds amazing, caramelised balsamic vinegar. And that was $145 and the bag is bloody heavy. So I can't really review this um, in regards to what I'd rate it or whatever because I'm not opening it and then having a little bit of everything right now or else the video would go for three hours and I'd have all these open things where things would eventually go off from opening them. Um, but I reckon that's good value. Like all of these sort of local things A lot of these local things, um, 12. So you're probably getting each, my mass isn't great. You're probably getting each thing on here for like 14, $15, I think. Or even $13 which I think is actually pretty good value, considering, you know, they're not... You know, they're not... It's not like a little tiny morsel of barbecue sauce, whatever. Like, they're decent-sized. So, I can't wait to review them when I get home. And um, I'm going to keep going. So, see ya.